Hey everybody, Seth Sarr and Neil French here. Come at you with some fitness tips on the Concept 2 Bike Erg. I'm gonna go over three separate things today. One is going to be positioning the bike to fit you. The second is gonna be your positioning on the bike when you're using it. And the third is going to be uh, customizing the computer for your workouts. So first thing you wanna look at is the seat. Right, you don't want the seat too low because then you're losing a lot of power output from your legs, but you also don't want it too high to where you can't be, you're fully extended and the pedals aren't at the bottom. So where I like to have it is when the pedals, or when my foot is almost fully extended, that's when the pedals are at the bottom. All right, so that's like the perfect uh, adjustment for me. The second thing is going to be the handles. All right, so the handles, again, similar with the seat, you don't want them too low because that's gonna force you to be hunched over, which we're gonna talk about in a little bit, is not good. Um, you also don't want it too high because then you're going to be reaching for the handles, all right? So for me, because I'm a relatively taller athlete, I get it, I want it as high as it goes. Um, and that's gonna allow me to brace on the handles while still maintaining my upright position. The last piece for the bike is going to be the damper setting. So where is the best damper setting? It depends, right? So if you're going for uh, some interval work, so short duration, really explosive power, then it makes sense to have it at a high, relatively higher setting. Um, that's gonna be about seven to eight for males and six to seven for females. Um, however, if you're going for a long duration, maybe 30, 40 minutes, uh, then you're gonna want it at a lower setting so that you can maintain that pace and keep your breathing. Right, not fatigue your legs too quick. And that lower setting is gonna be probably about three to four. Um, yeah, about three to four, I wouldn't say five, that's kind of moderate. And then again, when you'd have it at moderate is maybe during a workout when you know that you have, you're gonna be breathing from some other exercise, but that you still need to put some power output on the bike. So that's all how to customize the bike for you. The second thing is putting yourself in proper position. So as I go, to mount the bike, uh, the number one thing I'm looking for here is like I was talking about with the seat, making sure that my feet are at a good position. Also, that I'm maintaining an upright position with my body. The reason for this is because it's gonna allow your lungs to uh, expand a lot easier as opposed to if you're, you're hunched over, right? This is gonna make it harder for you to breathe and you're getting more tired more qu quickly during your workouts. So get that up, nice upright body and then you can go out and go out your business. When you would want to lean over is again, in those short duration interval work, right? So sometimes I'll get on the bottom handles if I'm doing maybe 20, 30, 40 seconds, no more than that, and I really want to dig into those pedals, then that's when I'll punch over. But for any kind of endurance work, I'm trying to stay nice and upright. The last thing I want to talk about is some customization of the computer. So a lot of people know about the just ride, right? So that's when you're just going and then you can track your meters or calories um, in that way, right? But something that people might not know is if you go select workout, even if you go, so you go new, new workout, you can go select distance and then select a distance that you do and then you try to do that as fast as possible. Or you could go select calorie again, Pick whatever calorie you want, do that as fast as possible. Well, another thing is if you go intervals, right? So we're talking about interval training and you can go intervals time, right? So you select a certain time, you go over and then you can customize your rest time as well. So maybe I want 30 seconds of rest while working for a minute, right? So you can get your intervals and then you can customize the bike for that reason. So that's just some quick tips, tricks about the C2 bike that you may not have known. If you have any further questions, please feel free to hit us up at uh, our Instagram page, US Army Warrior Fit, uh, or in the comments of this uh, YouTube video. Have a good day, everybody.